this is uh, Dr. Wu. I'm back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about risk of block. First, I'm going to review anatomy. Um, the median nerve travel along the forearm, enter into carpal tunnel. You can ask your patient to make a fist and uh, uh, flex the wrist and make this the uh, palmaris longus tendon prominent. Okay, this is palmaris longus tendon. On the lateral side, the tendon is flexor uh, carpi radialis tendon. So the nerve is uh, uh, between these two tendons under the reticulum. So you can uh, block the, the median nerve just between these two tendons. Uh, radial nerve travels along the side of uh, the, uh, the forearm and at the risk level will divide into numerous uh, terminal uh, branches to innovate the dorsum of the hand. You can inject local anesthetic subcutaneously to block the, the radial nerve. And the ulnar nerve is just the medial to the um, ulnar artery. You can palpate the artery, uh, artery right here. The nerve is just the medial to the artery. Uh, sometimes uh, it's very difficult to palpate the uh, ulnar artery. So you just feel the, the tendon called flexor carpi or laris tendon. Just inject your needle underneath of this tendon. And also you inject subcutaneously to block the dorsal sensory branch of the ulnar nerve. Okay, before I uh, demonstrate the, how to do this uh, risk block, I'm gonna, uh, would like to thank our sponsor um, uh, MacX Inc. Uh, MacX.com is a platform allowing the um, uh, facilities like hospitals and uh, surgery centers to post their jobs. And uh, the anesthesia provider can uh, view those uh, uh, jobs and then negotiate with them directly. Um, please check it out. Today I'm gonna demonstrate how to do a uh, uh, risk block. Uh, first, I'm gonna block the median nerve. Median nerve is located between uh, the two tendon, um, just, uh, just underneath the uh, uh, palmar's uh, longus tendon, PL tendon. Uh, you see, this is the uh, uh, risk flexing crease, just about one centimeter above the crease. I'm gonna use, this is a floor prep to prep the risk. So the needle just next to the uh, PL tendon, perpendicular to the skin, and uh, advance slowly, you will feel the pop. And then inject three to five cc uh, local anesthetics. If you don't feel the, the pop, you can advance in until you touch the bone and then pull back about a couple millimeter. Okay, inject. And then we draw the needle and the redirect needle to the lateral and then start injecting. Also withdrawing the needle. Okay, and then inject the dorsal part. And to the midnight. Now I'm gonna do the, the ulnar nerve block. The ulnar nerve, you can feel the uh, ulnar palpate, the ulnar artery pulse, and adjust the medial to the pulse perpendicular same fashion, once you penetrate the red T necrolin, you will feel a pop and inject two, three cc's. But often you, it's hard to feel the uh, ulnar pulse. So easy way, just feel the, the tendon. Um, 
there's a tendon here just underneath the tendon or if you don't feel the tendon just do the midnight the, in the middle otherwise about half or one centimeter and inject two three cc okay then withdraw the needle and then redirect to the dorsal part of the owner uh, aspect inject So inject towards the midline, inject and then withdraw the needle. Okay, that's it.